Hello guys, in this video we'll learn web development with WebAssembly using Rust. So let's get started. First of all, we'll move to cargo terminal file and here we'll add U with version as latest and features as CSR and then we'll build our project. Now what's really amazing about this dependency is it helps us write React style code in Rust which we'll see in a minute. So once your dependency is added, move to the project explorer and here in the root of your project add a index.html. Now here we'll just write a bit of HTML which will help us serve our web page. So doctai HTML and then HTML link as en head closing tag and then same for body and closing tag. That's pretty much all that we'll add today here. Uh, but we'll create our first component through the code which will be which will be a li little bit of react style code and so move to main.rs now the first component that we'll add today is a basic counter with couple of buttons so on place of increment the count will increment on place of decrement the count will decrement so let's start coding first of all we'll include you prelude and start everything and then here We'll just say fn app returns some HTML and on top of this we'll add function component. Now if you have ever worked on React, you are very well aware about what is a function component. Then we'll just say let counter use state again something from a concept of React. Initialize with zero and then we'll just say let increment let counter counter dot clone and move so let value counter plus one and then we'll just do counter dot set value similarly for decrement we'll just copy this and we'll rename this to decrement and instead of plus one we'll just do a minus one now here we'll add a bit of design to serve our component so a div tag with style as text align center and margin top as 50px and then we'll close the div then inside this div we'll add a couple of buttons for increment and decrement so here we'll name this as increment and button similarly one button for decrement and then a p tag for showing our result so here we'll just print whatever is our result and now let's add a bit of styling for uh, our p tag buttons so we'll just say style font size as 24px margin top as 20px similarly some styling for our button and also on click so let's first add the on click what for both the buttons now on click of increment obviously we'll just call the increment and on click of decrement we'll just invoke the decrement let's add some style for both so I just added some styling for both of the buttons some padding some margin some background colors and the writing color border and border radius so once we add this we'll just now add the renderer our first component is ready this is the design here we add some logic for some operation of increment and decrement and now let's add the rendering so you renderer app and new dot render that's pretty much all that we need to add today now just go ahead and open your terminal and here first of all we'll install a package which is cargo install trunk to serve our application now for me it's already installed you can just go ahead and install this and then to 
at the WebAssembly build target. Just run this command rest up target at WebAssembly uh, unknown unknown. So once this is set and up to date, just clear and then just we'll do trunk serve and open and then press enter. So once you see this output on your screen, you are good to go and your application has been served. Now let's open a browser and test our application. So there you go, our nice and clean and beautiful application is up in our browser and then just press increment as you can see as I press the increment it keeps on adding as I press decrement it keeps on decreasing. So this is just a pretty basic use case, pretty basic application that I tried so you guys get on with things and understand how can we do web development in a react style in rust and in future videos we'll also add some more complex stuff as well but just one last trick i wanted to show you guys is related to the trunk toml file so let's go back to our ide so here we'll just close our browser uh, terminal and then in our project explorer in the root we'll add a file so just add the trunk.toml file now here we can add the configuration for trunk so let's say in the serve i want to add port as maybe uh, 4000 so i can define my port here and then if i run the command it will serve the application on that port so we'll just do trunk serve and open so as you can see now the application has been served on port 4000 so this is how you can add different other configurations here as well i'll also drop the link to both you and the trunk so you can check out there's very rich documentation that you can follow and learn and if you have any use cases to discuss please please feel free to comment down below like the video share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching bye bye